to another video, a collectible nation. Here yeah, I have something really special that has just arrived from Amazon. <laughs> Fallout Wasteland Warfare. And we're going to be an, doing an unboxing, the first one on the channel, to see what's actually inside the Fallout box. So let's get it open. There we go. The box is open. Let's put that to one side. So here we have the rules of play sheet that comes with it to tell you exactly how to play the game with the Fallout logo and Fallout Boy in the corner. We also have the your first game book, which you can refer to while playing your first game, the Get Acclimated book. I'll show you what's inside first. It's just full of like how to read the cards which come with it, all the different weapons, character stats, and all those lovely things. And here we have a lot of tokens for the game. And we have some more on the back as well, which can be repurposed. We have rads, um, movement counters, critical meter, uh, spotting, hacking, and you've been sighted. The combat, now we have settlement tokens, I think, which have ammunition, um, caps, armour, housing, levels, special special stats. Oh, just popped one out. Now in the back we have even more resources, like double caps, negative two, plus two armour, uh, Sighted, no ammo, oil, movement, mines, or explosives, and then mystery encounter. Then we have the play mat. Oh, this, is quite, this is quite big. This the play mat. We have two of these, which I just need to connect. It's quite big, which is quite good for a starter set. box then the other half is the exact same but with different patterns the official rules of play a good good size book this is for when you're playing campaign or two player for the starter set when you get more figures you can play for up to four people which will be a lot of fun a lot of fun then we have the campaign handbook in case you're playing alone which has all the rules you need to play single player all different encounters, cards, uh, different chapters, good book. Then we have some polystyrene bags for the counters to go separately in, which I think is quite cool. Then we have the character cards, which have uh, Soul Survivor and Super Mutants and things like that all inside this pack. I will try and get these open in a second. We then have the huge reward of items like you can see on the front hunting rifle which is a long range marksman weapon which works better from a distance than up close all the dice you'll need which are quite cool you get three six nine ten dice each with their own uh, different use in the game Two more counters that has popped out. Um, dog meat from a Fallout Four from the Red Rocket Red Rocket truck uh, fuel station. Lovely base on it as well. Really well done mold. Quite sturdy as well. I like that one. Then we have a settler, I think, with a pipe pistol with the uh, head robes on and pouches and again absolutely love the wasteland base another thing that's a raider a raider with a, a pump action shotgun with a uh, uh, slacks on Who's this
this might be this might be another radio with a marksman rifle like a, a pipe sniper then we have Nora the sole survivor with a 10 millimeter pistol and then a marksman rifle on her back a great figure would have been a bit better if they also included the male uh, sole survivor as well and then we have a suit of T40, T45, T40 power armor with a LAS rifle, which is really cool. You can really put some characteristics in this. Uh, oh, Brotherhood of Steel power armor as well. You can see by the Brotherhood logo on its front chest plate. It looks like it's a full set of power armor as well. I love the base. That's all the human characters, and now we're going to Super Mutants. It looks like we have a Super Mutant Captain here with a pipe, uh, two pipe, right? I think that's a pipe. Yeah, two pipe pistols and metal armor on with a skull on his front and skulls all around in a cloth. And a fly's cap as well, which is quite cool. We then also have a Super Mutants. Wearing a makeshift helmet with no metal armor except for his knees and his waist, I think, and his arms, with a sledgehammer on. Uh, this base has doesn't have as much detail in as the others, but it's still a great base. We then have two mutant hounds to uh, counteract dog meat. From the EVF solution, which you can find in Fallout 4, which turns all the super mutants into super mutants. Again, great molds, models, hardly any mold lines at all. Just one thin one, which can be easily be removed. And then a super mutant with a rapid fire machine gun with a drum magazine as well. So I'm guessing this is like the more higher level one. With a lot of metal armor on, uh, wood, let leather armor for his knees and then i think a metal canister on his back which could be explosives or ammunition as well so great models then we also have the big one here what's that more counters so of these counters got popped out on the delivery we have the death claw which I'm guessing is like a mini boss for the beginning series. Again, great base, great sculpt. The death claw is my. It's gonna be definitely so much fun to paint. It's gonna like use dry brushing and a lot of washes. It's gonna be really fun to paint. And then as a bonus figure, we also get the Zeta Alien, which is an exclusive which you can find in Fallout 3's Zeta DLC, or you can find them with random encounters in the Fallout 4 universe. I'm not sure if they've added them in Fallout 76. I think they're in Fallout 3 as well, but not sure. Uh, definitely with the Zeta, though. Not sure if they're in the base game. Then also, you can print these out as well, offline, which are the settlement um, sheets, where you can build items to make a settlement in a sanctuary to help you with um, different stat cards and everything like the Boston Bugle which is in Diamond City which allows you to draw one, two or three booster cards and you get to keep one or an armour workbench uh, draw and keep one armour mod etc power armour from the item deck or add one arm boost token to a model requires the armour perk which again is great you also have to use caps for this as well, like 100 caps for the crafting station, or 30 for a crop field, which uh, <clears throat> allows you to draw food and drink and alcohol cards when using the cooking station. The uh, structure requires one water each, but no power, which is great as well. Uh, it's called the settlement sheet, if you just want it. It's a PDF online, which you can easily just print. Uh, you don't have to do it in colour, I just chose to do it in colour, because it uh, really shows all the features and that's it and the box layout is like that quite a big box and i can't wait to get painting some of these with a 
you on the channel. So let me know down in the comments which one you wanted me want me to paint first. My favourite is the T40 or 45 power armour with the LAS rifle. It's just a I, I just really like the scopes of it. And then uh, the Death Claw as well. So all in all, really great box box set i would recommend buying it for any fans of uh, fallout as a gift or anything like that it's a really good set and really easy to paint as well it looks and it should it should be ready to play you don't you have to learn the rules first but once you do that you know it's going to be really fun and you don't have to paint the models you can always just leave them gray and green and still have a, a ton of fun either in campaign mode or with a friend or with three friends three friends if you buy any models you can also buy extensions like uh, the Red Rocket Scenery, which um, is like a giant, a giant uh, house which you can add to the map to add more scenic depth to uh, the play map and piles of rubble and new characters and everything like NCR Robotic Guards or Brotherhood of Steel, Paladin Dance and Ibot and uh, Knight, uh, Knight Pridwin and other things like that. So. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today and make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Thank you, Collectible Nations out. <laughs>